So our second hunter chased the two and a half mile handicap, obviously, and walked to 100 with a big field of three. Even so, for Alex Jerry looking for another winner. Donitz is due grey. Gliskel Martin need to make up three. So Martin will be looking for another winner. He just can't stop winning. So these three, all volunteers of the league, a couple of commentators, large mouths. Alex Cherry has done a really good job with the handicapping for the, for the National Hunt this year. And we know what a laborious job it is. I doubt if he's going to do it next year, but we'll see. Not many people do it more than one year running, but it's Gliska leads us into the, <laughs> leads into the second here. And Donitz and even Salt. Both take the second. So then another 11 to jump. And it's Gliska Martin leading with a four length advantage from Donitz and even Salt. by four to even soul and Donitz. They pass their winning post. Two circuits to go. Reach the fourth. Thirteen we've got to take here. And we can race right handed. You'll see it in the distance. How many people have held a traffic cone up to their mouth and shouted through it like it's a megaphone? Another one. Glisk. Still leading by that five to even Sol and Donitz. Come down to the next. Well, James Shea's not got many runners this week. Due to obviously, uh, if you win, obviously something at 98. And the Hunter Chase, you end up not being able to run the following week in the Hunter Chases. But it's why well, it's open for everyone. the members open chase here at Sligo. Race 37 on your cards. It's Gliss that leads from Even Soul and Donitz. A mile and a quarter as they go uphill here at Sligo. It's Gliss extending his lead as he comes into this plane on the seventh. He jumped that well. He jumped it fast was Donitz and proved alongside Even Soul now, but they're still four lengths away from the leader, Gliss. Race right handed again. Across the elbow. And it's still Glisk leading us down to the eighth. And they're both over that. That'll be the last of the next time round. So they'll go off out for another circuit. Under a mile to travel. And this Glisk has got a, a bigger advantage now, about seven lengths to even so in second. He's about three lengths away from Donitz, who's getting reminders all the time. Glisk. Approaching the next. Five lengths out of even salt. And he's three away from Donitz now. So really got drawn out. And its jumping's a little bit better. And it doesn't seem to lump particularly well on the flat. So as you come inside the six furlongs, it's Glisk by about six to even so and Donitz. with three to take. It's still Martin Needham's Glisk. Being hurried along now to maintain the lead. He's over the ditch. This is the rest. And still seven lengths between Glisk and anybody else. As they race right handed again. And just two to take. And it's Glisk from even Sol and Donitz who are both being hurried along to try and close the gap. Glisk is starting to slow up a little bit as we go uphill now. So it's Glisk whips out. Here comes Even Soul within three lengths now, but it slows up. Glisk, Even Soul, they all go over the 12th, so we just want to jump. It's this Glisk that's out on his own from Even Soul in second. Donix is starting to run on now with a third and a half left to run. Still running uphill. Glisk starting to tread water. Here comes Donix on the outside. Even Soul, they go over the last. A good jump there by Glisk. He's got about a three length advantage here. We're inside the final half of Furlong. It's Glisk from Even Soul and Donix. It is yet another win for Martin Leader. Handicapper has been as kind as he possibly could to Martin Leedham's national hunt horses. Did he send you money, Alex? So another win there for Martin Leedham. Well done with Glisk. I think we've got a couple of hunter chases now. As I said, I don't have the form, the paperwork with me because uh, 
we've been moving office. Anyway, so back to this, and the members open goes to Gliska, Martin, Liggum, second was Eden, Self, Alex, Cherry, and third was Litz, Stu Gray. <laughs> 